I graduated high school in 2003, uh, and immediately after graduating, my first serious girlfriend dumped me. Uh, so I kind of spent that entire summer wallowing. My cousin's boyfriend uh, was huge into Elliot Smith, and he had played me uh, Needle in the Hay off the of Royal Tenenbaum soundtrack. You know, there was something about that song, that voice, the sparseness of it that really struck a chord with me. So then uh, I ended up buying a few le weeks later uh, figure eight. I got really, really into that record. I was listening to it over and over again, months and months. And then there was news that he was going to have a new record coming out. And I got really excited about that. And there was the seven inch single. The day I read the news that he had died, I ran immediately to the record store, like hoping that that seven inch was still there. And it was. And it is to this day, like one of my most cherished pieces of vinyl. It's just something that I, you know, I feel it, it's, I feel a connection to an artist that I never got to see live. And that's, uh, that's really important to me. Stefan from Solutions um, has had a hard time with people writing on the wall. And in the beginning, people were very respectful and they used to tape messages on when he first died. And he actually saved those. Um, and then people started writing on it. And then once people started writing on it, then it would get graffitied. Uh, it was covered in graffiti. Yeah, it was, we were always wall. like, man, that's such a beautiful wall. It's covered in graffiti. That's like horrible. So Miss Williams had the idea. She called up um, the owner of this building and so we decided to do it. Every color we did symbolically, so for example, the black was his life. The white represented the fans, so we reproduce various fan messages from the past nine years. And then the red were his lyrics, so in red flowers we wrote every line to every song on every album. That's great, but it's also going to be a lot of work. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because random people on the street wanted yeah, to not help. Not only did Punk Rock Martha's help, like random people passing yeah. by wanted to help as well. Make a lot of fans like drove that. by and like stopped to take pictures and help us. We just really wanted to see something that was at least cleaner. Like if it was going to go back to its original state, then before it did, something that really had a lot of heart and really represented a lot of different things. Stefan doesn't want this to be a, a wailing wall, as he said. Do you know uh, why his, his reasonings behind that or his motivations? He felt like when people come and they write a message, they don't leave happy. Like it doesn't really make them happy. And he had a real issue with all that negativity, like the feng shui of it, like everyone coming and writing something and then leaving. And it was like the sadness here and the sadness with them. So he just wanted it to kind of go back to its original state. Do you know when Stefan painted the the mural originally? It's 30 years old. Okay. So have you had any conversations with Stefan about what his inspiration was, what he was, what he wanted it to represent? Oh, well, the name of the business is Solutions and this is an S. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that simple. Have you done any research into the, the origins of the cover photo? I know it was, uh, it was taken by Autumn DeWilde. Uh, who went to high school around here and I think like it was it was just sort of like an image that had stuck in in her mind I don't know why she picked this I, as far as I know you know he came here he was a customer here and um, so this would just be you know he this was his neighborhood what did you guys uh, leave behind that day I wanted to write a note to um, him because there's a particular song it's called um, somebody that I used to know he it's on his figure eight album and I I wrote like how that song like touched me and how I, I was really moved by it so I left that behind oh, you're just somebody that I used to know